hi guys i hope you're doing great today now if you've never watched my videos before and you haven't checked out my channel my name is valerine and i do home and gardens video lessons diys calculations like i will be doing in this lesson today please check out the channel and consider subscribing before you leave and when you subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you can be notified of new videos now let's get started so the first thing that you will need to decide are some measurements right for your tails how far in do you want your tail to sit on your window from where it starts so that's your first measurement there for this calculation we will do 10 inches another measurement you will need to decide which i actually dealt with in a previous video when we looked at some general rules or guidelines for making swags and jabos that is the length of your tail in the video that um i did previously i told you that the general rule is that your tail should not sit further down on your window than two-thirds of the height of the window let's pretend this window is 60 inches high two-thirds of 60 inches is 40 inches so our tail will be 40 inches another measurement you can't forget is your return so pretend this is your mounting board that you will be mounting your tails and swags on your mounting board will have that return that is the part that goes back to the wall it's the depth right of your mounting board so your return on your mounting board can be anywhere from four inches it's all up to you it depends on what you will have sitting under your swags and tails and when i say what you'll have sitting under it means like if you will have like layered treatments like you will have shares in front of have um behind um heavy draperies or you will just have the heavy draperies it all depends on the look you're going for and the treatments that you're installing on that window for our purpose here hmm, i should write this the width of the tail in red 10 inches and then your return the part that goes back to the wall let's make that four inches your tail will not be flat your tail will have pleats the general guideline to get your pleats is in order to know how much fabric you need for this 10 inches run you will multiply the 10 inches by three three times 10 that's 30 inches but we're not done we have to add our return so that's four inches that's 34 inches also we need to add incremental measurements for our seams and usually half an inch on either side is fine so let's put an inch for the seam on both sides so that's 35 inches so we'll need 35 inches of fabric for one tail the width 
of one tail. The decor fabric comes in 54 to 60 inches wide widths. Sometimes you may even get double width, which is 118 inches. So we know then that one width, one width of fabric is sufficient for the width of this tail. Now we have dealt with the width let's move on to the length of the tail he said that our two-thirds is 40 inches however we also need extra fabric to wrap over on top of the mounting board therefore let's give ourselves our depth for the return is four inches so let's give ourselves an extra four inches of fabric so it's 40 plus four inches that's 44 inches because we've already added the four inches for the wrap over on top of the mounting board we don't have to concern ourselves too much with any incremental measurement for the seam right so let's move on and see how much fabric we will need to make two tails this calculation is for one tail so if we need 44 inches for the length of one tail for two we will multiply that by two two fours are eight two fours are eight we will need 88 inches in order to find out how many yards we will need we divide that 88 inches by 36 now let's do some long division okay so there we go 88 36 two times and two sixes are 12 two threes are six and one seven 72 so that's six seven that's 16 remaining point and because we put the point here we have to add the zero so now it's 36 into 160 four sixes are 24 four carry the two four threes are 12 and two 14 144 4 from 10 6 4 from 5 1 so we'll end up with 160 again so now we know that it's 2.4 4 yards of fabric so we will need 2.44 yards of fabric however when we're doing projects like these we round up we never round down because we don't want to run short on fabric so we round up and if we round up here we go to 2.5 yards of fabric so we will need 2.5 yards of 54 inches fabric to make well the fact is the width that we need is 35 inches so if you can get fabric that you like with a measurement like this right you'll have to um, put your measurements in and do the calculations but with a measurement like this because the width is 35 inches you could actually get away with a fabric that's 36 inches wide if you see something that you really like otherwise we need 2.5 yards of 
54 inches wide fabric to make our two tails. It's, I hope you understand all the calculations that I did here. If there's something that um, you're not understanding quite, then let me know. Please drop a comment below, ask me questions. And if you know somebody who could use this video or any other videos that I have on the channel, please do share. And remember, don't leave without subscribing, guys. And hit that notification bell button. You take care now, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, we'll be calculating your swags next time.